Welcome back, I'm Jill with thecarefreekitchen.com and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you one of my all-time favorite recipes. This is my recipe for an amazing chaffle sandwich. So we got one of those little mini waffle irons on Black Friday and then we actually had a friend give us another one for Christmas and we have been using these nonstop. And I'm gonna show you how to use it in making this amazing chaffle sandwich. Okay, so to get started, here are the ingredients that we're going to need. So I've got a couple of eggs and some shredded cheese, and then I'm going to add it to these uh, little bits of jalapenos. It makes the most amazing chaffle. And then for my toppings, I've got a few slices of deli turkey and some spinach and some tomatoes and avocado. And then for the bacon, this is just some pre-cooked bacon that I found at Costco and our little hack with this is we just put it right into the microwave and start it for about 30 seconds and then voila, you have crisp bacon. Okay, check that out. That's like nice and crispy and it's all livened up a little bit. It's perfect for our chaffle. Okay, so to get started, I actually just like using the whites of the eggs on this. Then you don't get any of the egg taste. It actually does taste like a waffle, but like a cheesy waffle. Okay, so we're gonna do two egg yolks. Sorry, two egg whites, rather. Okay, and then for each egg, you're going to add one fourth cup cheese. So this is about a half a cup of cheese for our two eggs. And this is enough for two chaffles. So, you know, like a top and a bottom to a sandwich. Okay, and this is kind of what it should look like. And then I'm going to use these jalapenos and probably like a tablespoon or so will be enough for the two chaffles. I like mine pretty spicy, but of course you could leave this out. Cheese and jalapenos are like the best combo. All right, and now we're going to mix this up. Okay, and then this is our cute little waffle iron here. And I'm just going to spray it a little bit with cooking oil and then add half of this mixture. And you just don't want to add too much or it runs over the side. So really just enough to like spread on the bottom of the little iron. Okay, that takes about two or three minutes to cook. Okay, so here is the chaffle. It's like crispy on the edges. It looks amazing. Okay, so now into our little waffle maker. And because we added the jalapenos, it's a little full, so I'm not going to add all of it. You don't want to overfill your chaffle iron or else it doesn't cook all the way through. Okay, and then I like to add a little bit of garlic salt on there and then cook away. Okay, so while that is cooking, I am going to add in, I have one of these Laughing Cow cheese wedges. And so this makes it kind of creamy and soft. Put it on here and let it melt a little bit. Okay, we'll just spread that around a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to add a couple, well, about three slices of turkey. Okay, and I like to salt my tomatoes before I put them on, just a little bit. And do this. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take my knife and slice this a little bit. Okay, and I also like to salt my avocado just a little bit. And then I'm just going to dig it out just a little bit with a spoon and lay it on there. And then we're gonna add our bacon right there to the top and some spinach. Perfect, and we'll check the rest of our chaffle. Ah, it looks so perfect. Okay, here we go. Crispy on both sides. That'll go perfect right on top. Okay, we've got Marissa here, and she's going to try our chaffle. I already know I'm gonna like it, so. 
Oh, how <laughs> is it? How is it with those jalapeno peppers? They're so good, huh? That like crispy sandwich. And the bacon and the turkey and the cheese. Oh my. <laughs> uh, we, we need to make another one. Mm -hmm. This chaffle sandwich makes this incredibly crisp and flavorful waffle. And then we top it with a little bit of turkey breast, some bacon, avocado, tomato. It really is such a fun and easy recipe and I think you're gonna like it too. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me here and I will show you all kinds of fun and easy recipes that your family will love. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.